Today is November 7th, and what that should mean is that we're all preparing for Thanksgiving. Instead of that, every house everywhere looks like every elf in the North Pole did an entire line of coke and threw up all over the house. In fact, some people have been doing this since October 1st. How do you do that? How do you skip two entire seasons, two entire major holidays? Two straight holidays, straight to Christmas? I mean, come on. I just don't understand the thinking behind this. Now, most might ask me, Peyton, why do you care so much? If it makes them happy, then why care? However, fall is my favorite season, and to skip right over that is a complete disruption of this entire country, in my opinion. To rush through fall and skip through two amazing holidays is just beyond me. Why would you do that? While I do understand to an extent the hype behind Christmas, to skip right through everything just doesn't sit right with me. Now I think in a lot of situations, if you're not hurting anyone, you should do what makes you happy. I'm not here to tell you to not do what makes you happy. I'm just going to tell you why you're wrong. Now I do want to start off by saying I do love Christmas. There are very understandable reasons why a person would want to extend the season. But just because something's understandable does not make it reasonable. Just like putting on a swimsuit in the middle of the winter doesn't make it warm, sunny, and school come out. Putting on Christmas music in the middle of October doesn't make it Christmas time all of a sudden. Trust me, there is nothing like waking up on Christmas morning, maybe going into the living room and opening presents with your family, or maybe just relaxing, eating good food, and watching movies with them. Putting up your Christmas tree two months ahead of time is not going to recreate these memories, and in fact, it might just spoil it once Christmas finally rolls around. The funniest part about it is they made it so easy for us to keep track of the months at the end of the year. First, at the end of October, you have Halloween. Then at the end of November, you have Thanksgiving. And finally, at the end of December, you have Christmas. Easy, simple. The fact that they made the end of the year so absolutely stacked, yet we still want to skip to the end to the best part, says a lot about humanity in general. They made it so easy for us to keep track of the different months and holidays, and they did so in a way that makes every single month and holiday have a different feel from the one before and after it. This is why trying to recreate the Christmas feel and spirit when it's still 60 degrees outside and there are leaves on the trees is an attempt that falls short. Personally, I think a better solution than trying to push forward the Christmas season would be to try to find something special and create new memories in the season that you're currently in. I completely get it. Life is not easy to get through without finding coping mechanisms to get through it. Trust me, I know that very well. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's very normal and healthy to try to get through life in these ways. But I think that trying to create new memories in new times might be a healthier solution than trying to relive all these old memories two months ahead of time. Finally, the social order is kept intact with these different seasons and holidays. Thanksgiving is a season of thankfulness. We are appreciative of what we have. Meanwhile, Christmas is a holiday of giving and receiving. I think it is no secret that as time goes on, we are getting less and less appreciative of what we have and just wanting more and more. Don't believe me? COVID is the only reason that this doesn't happen anymore. And the reason for that is not because we learned how to appreciate what we have. Rather, it is because the event of Black Friday has been spread across the entire month of November, and this leads directly into my next point. Now, if you don't think that the corporate dirtbags have taken notice of all this Christmas pushing lately, you're out of your mind. They have already capitalized so much on Christmas in the past century, and now they have the opportunity to do it even earlier in the year. If you go to your local Walmart or any retail store, I guarantee you they already have the Black Friday ads out and probably even have the sales going on right now. And the thing is, they're laughing about it. They love every single minute of this white girl playing Mariah Carey in the middle of October and completely bulldozing through every single season that predates it in the year. Do you guys remember the guy in the Lorax, you know, the guy that goes, the more smog of the sky, the more people will buy. You know that guy? <laughs> they are laughing exactly like him with every single opportunity they have nowadays to take advantage of the Christmas season. The truth of the matter is, these corporations don't want us to be thankful. They don't profit off of us being thankful for what we already have. In fact, they don't just want you to buy gifts for other people, they want you to buy this stuff for yourselves too. Is it not so ironic and so representative of this country that we want to push aside the season to be thankful and push ahead the season to receive? Pre-COVID, I had aunts and uncles leaving every night as soon as we were done eating at Thanksgiving to go shopping, and I don't blame them. The pressure to get good presents is really hard, and I haven't had that expectation until recently as I've grown older, but I completely understand why these people go and do that. Not to mention, on top of that, companies like Walmart were staying open on Thanksgiving and making their employees come in on a day that you're supposed to be with your family. How ridiculous is that? Now, while it might be apparent on the outside that these things are getting better post-COVID since places like Walmart are closed now on Thanksgiving, things are actually getting worse because the season is getting extended through the whole month of November. Now, don't get me wrong, this option is better than forcing employees to work on the day of thankfulness. 
But is there even such thing as a day or season of thankfulness when the month before and the month after are filled with these ridiculous sales and people fighting each other for these products? So congratulations to all of you people out there. You wanted to listen to Wham's Last Christmas two months ahead of time so bad that the corporate big shots had the opportunity to take advantage of you. Congratulations. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not only did you try to bake your cake, you tried to eat it too, and now the Christmas season is going to spiral throughout the whole year and it's going to be 12 months of this freaking stuff. Now I know this might seem like a serious exaggeration, but if you think 20 or 30 years ago anyone was putting up their Christmas tree pre-November, you'd be crazy. The cutoff of celebrating Christmas used to be Black Friday and Thanksgiving, but that started to disappear, and then it started to be Halloween, but even that started to disappear, and what's after that? The 4th of July? And then what happens when that disappears? Is it gonna be New Year's? Is it just gonna be 12 months of the year? I know some people are gonna hear this and think, that's crazy, it's never gonna happen, but when the corporations who are feeding us and trying to sell us TVs really want it to happen, they're gonna make it happen. But if we're celebrating Christmas not only one month, but two months, three months, and then 12 months of the year, is it even gonna be special anymore? Not only does celebrating Christmas two months in advance take away the opportunity to make new memories and new seasons, it also spoils the Christmas season in the moment. Now by the book, the Christmas season is about from Black Friday to New Year's Day. It's about a month and some change, and I think that's plenty of time. Anything outside of that, I personally think it's probably time to put the trees and the tinsel away. And I wouldn't have any problem with it. But when you celebrate Christmas in October and November, by the time December actually rolls around, half of the people are sick of Christmas already. And that's the thing, when you can buy a cheap $200 TV at the beginning of November, what's the point in waiting until Christmas? Like, you can just buy it for yourself at that point. The thing I find hilarious about celebrating Christmas early is that it's all about the music and the decorations and all of that stuff, instead of the kindness and the love and the forgivingness of the season, which is what it's all about. The Christmas season is about loving each other and giving to the less fortunate, and not this woman and her angelic vocal cords. So all that being said, here's my call to action to all of you people who want to celebrate Christmas in October. Maybe actually talk to someone who looks like they're in need and may need your help. Go ahead and show all that love and affection that those Christmas songs you're listening to is talking about. Maybe even send me money because it's the season of giving and I need. Why wait? You put so much focus on all this Christmas stuff that you're consuming, you may as well put your money where your mouth is. I've seen recently talking about how Halloween and Thanksgiving are holidays and Christmas is a whole season to be celebrated. While I may agree that Christmas is more of a season and Halloween and Thanksgiving are holidays, you know what also is a season? Fall! So I guess my final thoughts on this whole topic is that if you're going to celebrate Christmas early, you may as well act like it's Christmas all year and keep that energy going. Because if you're already going to go the extra mile to listen to your Christmas playlist in front of other people in the middle of October, you may as well buy them stuff. Say